Hmm, could an empty MD-11 take off using only the tail engine, given an infinite runway? I guess everybody, today we're gonna test that out. Everybody, it is true, I've always been so fascinated by tri-jets, especially the MD-11. What an interesting design that we do have to say is very outdated. Obviously, twin jets rule the world now, and quad jets or tri-jets like the MD-11 are slowly being retired or put into cargo service. It's especially the MD-11 that fascinates me because it was quite a failure. I mean, it is very much based off of the DC-10, and it had a lot of flaws. Whether it's the pretty un- efficient CF6 engines that didn't quite meet expectations. Whether it's the wing that many people would call outdated because it's bad, practically a DC-10 wing, just like these horizontal stabilizers down here that also weren't updated from the DC-10. I mean, they count as relatively small, making this airplane relatively unstable. And, you know, the, well, landing this plane isn't the easiest. This is not a very forgiving airplane. There's thousands of videos online of MD-11s doing hard landings, which is Probably the biggest reason why cargo is the best option for this airplane. I mean, they don't have feelings. They can't feel the hard landing. But already, this is the beautiful Rotate MD-11, which is probably the best MD-11 we have for any flight simulator. Take a look at this beautiful model. They just recently updated it. But everybody, we haven't fooled around at all with this airplane. It's time to do that. I mean, honestly, it's never really been much fun performance testing the MD-11 very much. I mean, here we are on a 6,000 foot long runway, and I guarantee you we won't be able to take off safely. Although our weight is totally fine for normal, you know, payload. Everything is okay. All right, we can release the brakes. All right, there we go. Taking off now. I mean, it's crazy. Our rotate speed is 175 knots in this current configuration. It's absolutely insane. I mean, we can put the flaps down, but that won't help much. We're using all of that runway, including tail strike and crash and death. Right. I mean, we've taken off much bigger airliners than, than this one. So yes, it is quite a tough one to fly. Uh, all right. Yeah. Okay. Using a little bit of that Alpine Valley, we've been able to take off though. Yeah, it's not the greatest performance at all. And I really am quite scared of having one third of that on the vertical. Let's remove both engines here from the wing. Perhaps one airport that's better suited than this uh, Alpine Mountain runway is Homey Air Base, which is Area 51. It's got a 3,800 meter long runway. This should work. All right, there we go. And I've done our um, modifications now. I've removed the wing engine, which I guess will work out a little bit better than just turning the wing engines off because we have less weight and we have less drag. Just a simple wing and a simple engine. Kind of like a Cirrus jet, but probably gonna have the same amount of performance as well. All right, with six tons weight, maybe we're gonna have to also um, reduce the payload weight in general. There we go, we now are only weighing 115 tons. All right, this is a very heavy aircraft. Let's try to do this now. Full power in the MD-11. That only now has one engine, as you can tell here. Um, uh, the lady's voice may be a little mon monotone. I, I like the Boeing call out a bit better. Shut up. All right, but everything seems fine. I, we are rolling. I guess one engine could be used for taxi. Um, and we are increasing our speed. Maybe we put flaps back down that we have less drag. I mean, we are increasing speed. It's just a question of if this airplane going to be able to maintain speed while flying. Good, 80 knots already. Again, it might be a good thing now that we are very empty in weight. Come on. I guess this would be a very Efficient engine, right? Think about that as your motivation, MD-11. Think about that before you run into the dry lake bed. All right, and we're running into the dry lake bed, which is probably going to worsen our increase in knots. In fact, we are losing speed here now. This is absolutely nonsense. All right, let's put the flaps up and let me try to fly at 133 knots. Yeah, yeah. See, the elevator surface on this plane really isn't big and we can't just force this airplane to come up. It just won't work. We might... Want to pursue an engine upgrade? I mean, there's the great GE90 engines. That was the ride from the CF6 engine that this one is. I mean, the CF6 was a great engine as well, but it's just old. Just like the whole concept of tri-jets in general. Come on. Now we're losing speed. All right, we need to pursue this upgrade now. Yes, I mean, take a look at this one. The GE90 is quite a bit bigger. I had to make it a bit longer. Um, and now we even have... Less of stability, I would suggest. But hey, at least the G90 engine is like barely um, small enough not to cover up the um, rudder, which is good news. I mean, this could theoretically work. We could put that engine on there. And actually, the performance isn't as bad as I'd expected. But hey, I think this, this works a whole lot better. Take a look at this. We've got already 170 knots, uh, 120 knots on the clock. Um, we should be able to actually rotate, although we're not really gaining speed. Um, we might want to put the flaps back to zero. Um, 
because of less drag. You know, the thing is, the GE90 is the most powerful um, airliner jet engine we have. I mean, you know, instead of only the uh, nearly 70,000 pounds of thrust, we have now a hundred and something thousand. Very powerful, much bigger, and this should work. We have 140 knots on the clock. That should already actually get us going. Let's get the flaps down, but I'm not quite sure how much because we don't want too much drag, but we should be able to get this airplane going. Come on. No. No, it's not going to work, is it? It's not. All right, we've reached the limits of technical limitations. We don't have an engine that's big enough to, I guess, carry up the MD-11 to the skies. I mean, we could modify the G90 engine, perhaps, maybe. Well, I mean, there's afterburner. All right, dear passengers, welcome aboard the modified. Yes, MD-11. I mean, afterburners are always a good way to increase an engine's power by throwing just fuel into the engine and... That's gonna work. Shut up, women. You're going to be fine. Yes, the question now is fuel flow might be an issue. I have no idea. I mean, again, the MD-11 was never really fuel efficient anyway, which is why it was well failed. I mean, take a look at KLM, who ended up using the GE-90 engine on the 777, the plane that they replaced the MD-11 with. I mean, the youngest MD-11 they had was retired at 14 years old. That's very, very young for any airplane to be retired. I guess it just wasn't good for the airlines at all. I mean, even 20,000 pounds of thrust increase through afterburner doesn't do much. It's a small afterburner. All right, come on with the afterburners. Those haven't helped out much. Only a few more knots. I mean, we could maybe try making a runway that's much longer, but hey, that won't help because after all, the tires are going to get real hot. They're going to burn off before we're in the air. Maybe after Bruno's thrust increase by 100,000. All right, there we go. That's gonna be a lot of fuel eaten, but do we care? It's the MD-11 after all now. And it isn't very powerful still. Uh, all right, I'm trying to kind of speed up everything just to see how far can we get until we reach the end of the runway. All right, come on. Yes, with 100,000 pounds of more thrust, we can actually do this here. Ah, oh, oh. yeah, I have to kind of work against the engine. Just like a Cessna, I mean, because it's single, the airplane kind of tends to veer off to the left. Yeah, 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 130 knots. We are using the whole runway. We're already, already, over. <laughs> We're already overshooting the 3,800 meter long runway that we are actually offered. But no, um, 150 knots. There we go. We should be able to rotate now, right? Come on, take off. MD-11 single engine. This is the only thing we could make possible in today's technology. I mean, we could build a bigger engine to put on top of this one. Oh, God, I hate the performance. We're completely empty weight-wise. But at 160 knots, these jet wings just won't take lift. Come on, flaps fully down. I guess that's the only way I could make this work. Come on, you are fully empty, MD-11. You should... And it's definitely not worked because we're now going to just lose speed. I guess to answer the question, it's not possible to take off an MD-11. Not even with any engine, the biggest engines that we want to put on it. It just won't do it. I guess the only application we have for this airplane is being a glider that flies down. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Shh. Come on, I know. We've had our differences today. Uh-oh, we need more power. We need more power. Continue. Oh, we need more power. We're going to crash. We're literally going to crash. We're literally going to crash. Doesn't work. Oh, uh, even now we bounce. Thank you. This is... plane is embarrassing me. Ah. Yeah, now. All right. So, everybody, we still love the MD-11, but um, it's definitely a very flawed airplane. And no, you cannot fly it off one engine. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishijitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.